This video is a guide and we are using new clean equipment. You must always refer to the instruction book for safe practices and specific details. Hello, this is another instruction video from Hardy. This video is a reminder that you should look after yourself as agriculture is a hazardous workplace. This is for your sake, so please spend the next few minutes to watch this video. The Hardy instruction book, specific to your sprayer, has all the safety precautions. It concerns the safety of you and others. You being the owner or operator must read and understand this book. It could prevent an accident. The instruction book must be kept with the sprayer. If you have misplaced it, you can download a PDF from our homepage. The link, you'll find it in the description of the video. You must read the book before using the sprayer and understand the safety instructions. You also have to heed national regulations regarding workplace assessment, safety and accident prevention regulations. Follow me as I walk around the sprayer and do a general reminder of the safety practices. We start with the identification plate to see the maximum weights. Note the vehicle load axle 1 value. This is the maximum weight at the hitch point. Check that it doesn't exceed the tractor specification. Your braking distance will increase and the stability decrease with a tractor that does not meet the specification. In the book, the danger, warning, attention and note describe the risk. It makes it easier to identify a risk when reading the text. Danger is the highest risk. And note is more like a helpful tip. On the sprayer, the yellow labels help identify the risk area. They are a reminder to take care, so respect them. This is a major danger zone. A rotating transmission shaft is extremely dangerous, so stay away from it. You don't get a second chance if you get caught up in this. There are many things to be wary of, and here are a few. The shaft must be orientated the correct way. The shields must be intact and secure so they don't rotate. Only operate the PDO when all the people are away from the area. Don't exceed the maximum revolutions. The book shows you how to check for correct shaft length at initial setup. Let's talk about the hydraulics. If you do service and maintenance, put the boom in transport position or the lowest position possible, relieve the oil pressure, turn off the engine and remove the key. Before opening the hydraulic circuit, support or lock any components that rely on the circuit to stay in position. If you don't, the component may move. It will also force the oil out. Wear gloves and eye protection. <clears throat> a helmet may also be a good idea. Uh, oil uh, will give you, can give you skin eczema, so wear the gloves. It is also dangerous. A high pressure leak can penetrate the skin and oil is poisonous. Be wary of pressure in hydraulic and compressed air circuits, like oil in the accumulators and compressed air in tanks. Be cautious of crush areas. Stay out of areas like this if the boom is not supported. Before operating the boom, make sure the surrounding area is free. Be very cautious when folding and unfolding the boom in fields where there are power lines. Place the supplied label in the tractor cabin as a reminder. If you need to work on the electrical system, use the tractor's isolator switch or disconnect the tractor's battery. Disconnect the negative terminal first and then the positive terminal. After service and maintenance, replace all the safety shields. Regarding your personal protective equipment, check the label of the plant protection product. 
It has recommendations as to whether you should be wearing gloves, overalls, boots, face mask and breathing equipment. When you're finished using the equipment out here, you should store it in the locker because storing it here will prevent bringing the residues up into the tractor cabin. Regarding the pesticide data sheet, uh, you may need to store this on the sprayer. This is just a sample of the reminders in the instruction book to look after yourself and others. Now take the time to read and understand the safety instructions. There's a saying that goes, when all else fails, read the instruction book. This still holds true. So when you're working, work with safety in mind. If you have queries or are unclear of uh, things in the instruction book, please contact your Hardy dealer or Hardy. For other Hardy instructional videos, please see our YouTube channel.